What's happening guys, Lemon here. And Mushroom with some Black Ops 3 Tomahawk and knifing information. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of gameplay recently since E3. We're seeing a lot of YouTubers using the Tomahawk and the uh, knifing in this game. We're seeing a lot of new things coming out. We wanted to tell you guys what's going on. We're gonna start right with the animation and the distance of the Tomahawk itself. And we've got some courtesy of Pomage here, the gameplay. And you can see that he does a really nice double jump throw with the Tomahawk. You can also see the distance that he gets from the Tomahawk throw. It comes out directly where the reticle is. There's no gap between the reticle and where the Tomahawk comes out, which is a massive thing when it comes to this sort of stuff in the gameplays. So we've seen a few little pieces with banking and resupplying. Uh, we can see here in this clip that he does uh, get a bank shot down the wall there and we can see that it glows yellow when you want to retrieve it and it does pick up automatically. So it fumbles down the stairs there. You can see it in slow-mo right there and then it becomes visible um, once it's ready to be picked up. Same here, it banks off the blue wall at the back. We had to slow this down to actually understand what happened because it, it's just so fast and Pramaj has this habit of turning away from every throw he does. Now speaking of habits, he has a really good habit of equipping a tomahawk in all of his gameplays, so we gotta thank him for the clips that we use. Um, hopefully you can see behind this, it hits the back of the blue wall, comes back and then it's highlighted. While we're watching him get up to that point, I'm gonna also thank Optic Nade Shot for doing some melee stuff and Noah J456, we used a clip of his as well for some knifing gameplay that we're gonna show a bit later on. We can also see in this clip that the tomahawk trickles along the ground like we've seen in previous Call of Duties. Um, it does not gonna stick into anything. The tomahawk doesn't really have a tendency to stick into anything. And in this clip here, Pomage throws it against the wall there and we think we can see the air that follows behind the tomahawk go off in a bit of an angle when you slow it down. So that does give us hope that it does bank shot. But more hope is to be had with the knifing animations because we've only got two in Black Ops 3, which comes down to a stab and a slice. It seems to the majority of the time stab and it's that nice quick animation, no grabbing like it was in Ghosts. And then when it does slash, it's really, really quick like a ballistic knife. Yeah, we obviously don't have the ballistic knife in this game and another cool thing, you can do it while you're in water and we wonder if you can combat axe while you're in uh, underwater, which would be a cool little montage thing that could be really cool like underwater shots. But we can see that there's two really nice clean animations. There's the swipe there, a lot like Ghost as well. So we can see a lot of similarities between the knifing systems in both of these games. The next one is the Sparrow Bow, which is a specialist feature for one of the class specialties and it's kind of like a ballistic knife. It it seems like a chargeable ballistic knife, essentially. Um, but it's really cool. I think this is going to be a thing for knifers. I think it's going to be like the the other projectile, kind of like the ballistic knife was in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. One factor about this bow that does slightly annoy me is the fact that it explodes after every single shot, which kind of dulls down the skill factor involved with the ballistic knife. Um, even if you miss them in a projectile sense, it will explode and probably kill them. The last thing is a really good thing for us, anyone out there actually, because you melee and you have to actually melee twice. So I'm assuming that guy was a little bit injured before he got hit, but if you do a gun melee, it's twice. Yeah, so there's two hits for the gun melee and obviously one for the knifing, but that was just a little quick uh, video to get you guys up to speed. Now I do want to quickly thank Noah, Nade, and Pomage again for getting those clips and I hope allowing us to use them, but thank you so much for watching. Yeah, stay tuned for our channel, we've got a few more videos coming out this week, including a stunts montage, so look forward to that. Peace.